from new age of farming to robotic science. That's what young science workers from 18 African countries are interacting with as they tour China's top universities and industrial parks this week. They are sampling China's fast advances in tech and the participating scientists say there is one thing any country looking to develop must work upon. Xi Jitian's Tsunye has more. Vertical farming, it allows farmers to grow more crops in less space. And that's what caught Ernest Pomdu's attention as he, along with more than 20 young African science workers, toured one of Beijing's signature science industrial parks. Uh, the technology is needed because, like I mentioned, uh, agriculture is uh, one of the core sectors of our economy. But then the problem we have is still we're still dependent on uh, traditional forms of agriculture. So like we visited this uh, vertical farming, it's one form of technology that uh, is new uh, and uh, needs to be tried, especially because of the benefits it brings. He says he will make vertical farming technology one of his policy suggestions when he goes back. Latifa Tu Muhammad says that for her country's science sector to boom, it needs proper funding alignments, like China. What the developed countries have done is to what empower science and technology in their country, where there is a fund that supports research and development. And if the, it's, the, it's the first step that a country will have to embark on to invest, to invest into science and technology. And I think that is what China has done. Both agree that the key to scientific growth is raising talent. Much as we have a low base, I think what China did was, uh, from our perspective, was first of all to grow the human capital. And the human capital kind of is the, is the base for, uh, for sustained growth. And when the group visited China's prestigious Tsinghua University, they asked that big question. How can they effectively nurture talent? China and African countries are all developing countries. We have similar problems. And how best to coach talent is the most important. China's fast advances in science have shown that its ways with talent works. For one, we heavily invest in not only high-level education, but also education at all levels. And we are happy to share some of our experience with them. The African visitors will head to other top research facilities looking for lessons as well as opportunities in cooperation. Uh, Africa needs more roads, uh, more uh, houses, bridges, uh, railroads. Uh, but I think that Africa also needs to uh, apply more technology and innovation in its development so that it can make leap forward developments uh, in future. And I think in this regard, China certainly has a lot to offer. Uh, I think China is willing to share our ex development experience with Africa. Sun Ye, CGTN, Beijing.